enjoyed it. Uh, in the past, I used to play games, so that helps, of course. But then there's the part that we were... It's a very simple game, but I, I did compliment them more than once, because although it's, it's very simple, they created it in such a way that people that have never played can play, people who played can play, and we can all find uh, nice learnings out of it, which I think was very powerful. It, it was also it's a, it's a quite interesting atmosphere that we managed to build. So really when we were playing, you could see everybody was actually tense and trying to solve the problems and try not to get caught and discussions and so on, which I thought was really impressive. It's uh, it's nice to see the power of technology to, to trickle your brain. To, you're basically just clicking some nice figures on the screen. Yeah, yeah You're yeah. trickling it to a, in a situation of a high stress as we would in a big meeting with a client and so on. been amazed with this game because uh, we really created something uh, within the game, a team, and uh, I suppose Eric was also part of all the, the session to support because when Eric stopped us, he said, guys, you want to go this way, but did you analyze around the risk, whatever, and we just realized that in our real business day, it's exactly the same. And it gave us really, yeah. you are not doing it properly. Yes. And he was right. I mean, he was obvious. So I found the game amazing. Okay. And I can tell you that I didn't miss one of them, which uh, normally for training, I am doing the first 10 minutes and after I'm leaving. Yeah, I can be honest, uh, but, but uh, very positive. And uh, honestly speaking, it's, it's quite obvious. Uh, with the game, how, they, how the game demonstrates the type of behavior, of uh, action, of team building, of team spirit, of team activity we should do. And this is exactly the same in our day-to-day -day business. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is what you say, Anderson, uh, it's the same. Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's it, uh, very positive. Even that I like to hear because if I'm in a meeting, me and a few of my colleagues in front of a client, I will, and one day I'll have the very technical guy that has no clue how to speak for a client, or I'm going to have a guy that speaks really well, but really made a terrible mistake in his calculation. So I have the same, as I was in the team, some people tell me a bit weaker in one topic, but stronger in another. And as a team, you have to compensate for that and be open and move. So even, even the part of having some people in the team that couldn't quite control properly, I thought was a great part. Also help you to get a little bit out of the format, okay, and to exactly. open. That's what really I uh, I got as a feeling. Get open, get mm -hmm. a step back, think mm -hmm. about this, okay. It's not just only to lead, but how can we make a step back and, and do something in a different way with be, better uh, benefits right. for the team, for the company, for everybody. Another oh, small thing yeah. to add, we, we had four sessions. I think it, we decided for ourselves, the team, to make a fifth session. And I think if we would have had the opportunity, we would have run a couple more sessions. It was really nice. Really? And the consciousness of the team dynamic having seen in a in a small sort of experiment out of mm -hmm. the normal frame then it's easier when i'm in a meeting now to just step back and say look that's what we're doing this guy is really trying to run ahead that one is really really offensive i'm really looking out outside of the box open a little bit the mind a little bit what you said uh, as soon be careful to say just this afternoon I was part of a meeting I am in Kuala Lumpur now and I was part no. of a meeting to review let's say the PO to PO world and everybody was focusing on the technical details for a PO okay they were focusing on the technical detail technical detail technical detail at one point I said stop break what are we talking about they said we are talking about pressure vessel okay so you're talking to me about the technical mm. uh, the pressure vessel the grade of material do you know the, the, the suppliers you are, you are going to select? Nobody knows. I say, how many pressure vessels? 20. I say, me, I know the supplier. It's like a small garage. How are you going to put your 20 
pressure vessel in this garage. I mean, it's impossible. So you are focusing on technical design matter when on the other side, you cannot build your, your pressure vessel within the supplier. So get outside of your main focus, okay? And this is really coming from, uh, let's say, the, uh, sometimes you take an assumption or you follow a format and you forget something on the side. And for me, this is really what I try to do each time I am part of a meeting is the guy uh, looking at something. Did you look outside of this? Did you look in this direction? Yeah, Did you look, yeah. you go there, what can be the impact on your decision? Okay. Yeah. Is there any risk or any opportunity? This is what really I try to, to put in place. Even if I am a, if I were a member of blue, I need rules, format and things like that. So let's try to open a little bit, uh, even with, uh, if we have this format uh, from engineering, uh, go straight to the technical technique. Yeah. This is what I am really trying to apply and uh, use. And I think it's very oh. beneficial uh, for, uh, yeah. for the today uh, daily basis, uh, daily business. Yeah.